Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLeanDesign.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Yes, I'm bulk filming. If you notice I'm wearing the same outfit for several days in a row, I'm bulk filming. I have a lot going on in the next couple of weeks and I'm going to need to get ahead on some videos. So sorry, I could change shirts, but why? That would be a lie. I'm bulk filming. So I was at Menards recently, which I said I wasn't going to do, but there I was. And I was in like the paint adhesives. Blah. I was looking for adhesive and I went down this one aisle that had like the epoxy clear coats and all that stuff. And they had little tiny pots of, of mica powder so that you could tint your countertops or your clear coat with and all this stuff. And that got me thinking, I have mica. I have a lot of mica powder. I bought, I think it was off Wish some mica powder and I got a lot of it and uh, I've been tinting the resin with it but then I started thinking what if I could tint paint like I have a lot of chalk paint from when I sold chalk paint that I don't like the color I absolutely hate the color I will never use the color so I'm stuck with them could I change them <laughs> with the mica powder? I don't know, but guess what? We're going to try it. Um, I have no idea. I have this. So this was a brand that I sold. It's Junk Gypsy Paint. No hate to Junk Gypsies, but this is just ugly. It's just mud. It's called Wild Oats. I think they actually have one. It's not mud. It's Dirt Road Dreamer. I'm not even sure they care about their own paint anymore. I love the Junk Gypsies, don't you? Love them. Adore them. Got to interview them once on my podcast when their book came out. Um, lovely people. In all honesty, behind the scenes, they were wonderful. They were really nice authors. Like I talked to a lot of authors. Some of them are kind of dicks. Most of them are nice. Um, but they were lovely, the two of them. And uh, I love what they do. I love all the stuff that they do. So I ripped their paint. Of course I did. I just don't like this. Browns, beiges. And I would like to be able to use up the paints that I have. Because this year is all about using what I have. But in all honesty, I don't want to use this. I, I'm not interested in painting anything tan or brown. It doesn't make me happy. So we're not doing that. But what I was thinking was, could I add a little mica powder to it and make it more like a gold color? Like a brown, but with like a little bit of a gold to it. Like, how could we change this to add a little more depth or just a little more to make it interesting? So it's not like every other tan or every other brown out there, right? I don't even know if I have anything to paint with this. I guess we'll have to find something after I mix it, right? Um, let me get some stir sticks out. I want to get this mixed up really good. And then I will show you the mica powder that we're working with, okay? Okay, I just have this Dollar Tree mixing cup. I picked up a bunch of those. Now, could I take this to the paint store and have it retinted? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could take, you could get like a quart, an empty quart and mix some random paints together and then go have it tinted. Like add this or add that to it. But again, I'm using what I have. And if they're going to make mica powders easily available to us, I mean... <laughs> So this is my mica powder. This little bit goes a long way, by the way. And uh, it's 
probably not safe to breathe. Um, this is a pearl gold mica, mica powder. And uh, that's what I'm thinking is going to look pretty good in here. Like a pearl gold added to this brown. Might just give it a little something that makes it interesting as opposed to dirt brown. Ugh, it's so dirt. It just not even doesn't even show up. Here it is. Uh, I have this pearl gold, though. That I had done. Oh, I mixed with resin. Oh, yuck. It's a mess. Look at that. It's a mess, Stacy. And we're just going to shake a little in there and see what happens. But I'm, I was thinking, if they're mixing it, <laughs> then we can certainly mix it. Oh, it just ate the gold. We're going to have to add more. This is definitely a more situation. More is more. Get in there. That's a lot. That's, that's a lot. That should do something. <laughs> yeah, it did. That made a paste. This is the stick I used to stir it with initially. Let's see if there's any difference. It's slightly yellow. All right, let's try a different color. I got other mica. <laughs> Sparkle green. Let's try green. Let's see what happens. <gasps> oh, that's pearl. Uh, yeah. I'm starting to see like shiny and glossy in the paint. It's not really changing the color of the brown, but it is making it shiny, weirdly pearly. Mmm, that didn't change the color at all. We may have to let that dry. You know what? I'm going to try it on white paint. Oh, let's try for that one. Let's get rid of the brown. Maybe it's just too dark. We're about to find out. I just want to see if I can do this. It was a thought. It came to me. We're doing it. All right, we're doing the green. Because it was just so pretty. What in the world? That is so weird. Okay. It's starting to weird me out. There's the stick I used to mix it with. There's the white. No, that's not a change. Nothing. I don't see a change at all. All right. Let's mix these two together. Let's see what we get. <laughs> We're going to get a light beige that I'm stuck with. Let's see what we can paint. Tan. Tan. 
have this old wood spindle. This is from, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. I have three of them though. So they can't be legs for anything. But what I was thinking was I'm going to use them as a pedestal. But not this. Obviously they have to be painted. So this little tan is kind of a perfect color. It's a non-offensive tan color. So we have a fail. We got to make it work, right? We got to make it work for us. Okay, so let's wrap up our, our pigment tester, our little tester thing. So there was some change in the color. It wasn't significant to me. <laughs> like it wasn't something that I'm going to be... I'm not going to be doing this on a regular basis, but you can see this is the green. This is the gold. This is the original color. So there's just a slight coloration. I guess if I had enough mica powder, it would change it. But the pigments for the paint are just too strong to really make it change enough to make a difference. So my pedestal ended up this color after I mixed all the colors together. Um, nothing. No difference whatsoever, but this is going to be cute to just set my little birds on or, you know, I don't, I don't have a bird here right this second, but you know, here's a bunny butt. <laughs> oh, here, you know, here's a food dog. You know what I mean? Just a little pedestal to put in the booth or, um, to include with the resin birds that I've been making. So there you go. It's just a pedestal now. It's a fail. It's a failed experiment. I don't feel like it is because we learned something. So, I mean, I get curious and I try things. And I never feel like it's a total failure. I always feel like if I learned something, then it's valid. It was worth the information. Now I know. I never leave myself curious. <laughs> I gotta know whenever something just starts getting in my sticky little brain about, is this going to work? Could I do this? Could I make that? Could I change this? I gotta know. I'm going to try it. You know, as long as it's not illegal, immoral, or super duper dangerous, I'm probably going to try it. Uh, I'm not going to say just plain dangerous because I've tried some things that were probably dangerous. But this wasn't one of them. This is just paint and pigments and why not? Let's just give it a try. So now I know. I didn't fail. Just learned that it didn't work. But now, I wonder if it works in clear coat. Maybe we could tint up some clear coat. Give it a try. Well, now we're just, now we're pushing the envelope. <laughs> Why not? Let's just try it all. I want the gold. I want the gold to work. I want the gold to work. I want the gold to work. All right. So it has made my clear coat gold. And I am going to try it on this. This brush sucks. Why is this brush so awful? I mean, it's a bit uneven as a clear coat, but it adds a little shimmer, a little sparkle to this piece. I don't hate it. <laughs> it's a nice way of just adding a layer of color. It's kind of like a glaze. It's like adding a glaze. I do have my own glaze mixes. That, you know, other than the using it in a clear coat, obviously I have that glaze I've made my own glazes before, my own colors. Totally could do the same thing. It would do the same thing. So it's basically now just a glaze. But it's pretty. I like it. I like it better than just plain. It just kind of stands out a little more and out pops. Under these lights, it looks really yellow. But when I look at it in person, 
it's a subtle shimmer. But under the lights, it's like, shimmer. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but these lights are super duper bright. And so when I look at it on camera, you're seeing like, ah. And in person, it's more like, ah. <laughs> it's not a pow. It's a pow. It's a little boo. <laughs> it's cute. I don't know. I'm going to stick something on there. I'm going to go put it in the other room to let it dry, though. It's a little cold in here, so it's still a little sticky in places. So that's it. That's, what, that's the best we could do. Thanks for watching, you guys. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more Junkin' videos.